Good morning, FSPA. In today's show, we're highlighting young voices. We explored how students are pushing important initiatives, saw how a student responds to Florida legislature, Learn the importance of thinking before you post. Spotlight a student who uses chorus to share her voice. And so how change is being made right here at our schools. I'm Anna Bullock. I'm Mariana Ramos. And the legend FSPA edition starts, starts right, right now. now. Around campus, you might see something you think you should report. Saying something is the crucial next step to take. Annalise Holtz will show us why. Young Voices are pushing the initiative See Something, Say Something here at Sickles High School. See Something, Say Something is the idea that if you see something that is going to put other people in danger, that just doesn't seem right, that you need to tell a trusted adult. If you see something that is harmful or hurtful or alarming, um, then you say something about it. This initiative has proven to be essential for the well-being of everyone around campus. It's important to say something because you really never know what is on campus and what type of situation you're going to find yourself in. Students are working hard to spread the word and make this concept well known. I think by students spreading it with their young voices and makes the incentive less intimidating. We do have the freedom of speech and people should be able to use that as not as a weapon, but as a, to just put out their opinion out there. Social media incentives and social media graphics is a big resource and way to reach students. Many people on social media are posting like the safe club, see something, say something. Many students are pushing to make sure the importance of see something, say something is recognized amongst their fellow classmates and that their voices are heard. To make information like that accessible and to make it less intimidating and to make it easier for people to learn what resources are available to you and that you do have power in what goes on and what doesn't go on and what doesn't happen. Don't be afraid to report suspicious activity to a trusted adult. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Annalise Holtz. In recent events, new bills have come to light that impact our schools. One of our very own students is working to make his voice heard and push back against one of these bills. Orion Boone will tell us more. Book ban has stopped the Eco Brothers from donating some very important books to schools such as the Who Was series. I know some of the Who Was books, like Who Was Rosa Parks, is one of the um, very popular books that are being banned right now. And it's, they're really just um, history books, so I don't really understand why they are being banned. Some say that the book banning bills are a direct attack to people's amendments. Many wish to find ways to combat these bills, and in some states, the book banning bills have been recalled. There's been a lot of change in Texas already, and they've retracted a lot of the banned book bills and put some books in the school. So I think um, with some mobilization and change of our youth, I think that we can make a really good impact and retract these bills here as well. Chase Hartman and his organization have found many ways to give the books schools need to their students and overall improve their education. The ban on important books leaves his and other organizations in a tough spot. Not to mention, it stunts the education of students. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Orion Boone. Everyone knows rumors spread fast. Recently, we saw this in full effect. It's always important to remember to think before you post. Janie! Can you please explain this. Sickles Chorus is home to many outstanding students. One student in particular uses it as a way to express her voice in many unique ways. I have the story. It may seem like large voices are lost in a large choir. However, the opposite is true for Bomika Mohan. Her voice is amplified through the program. In orchestra, you have like physical instruments, and in chorus, your instrument is your voice. So I feel like in chorus, like me as a person, my job there is to learn how to better use my voice and how to use it to um, also uplift other people in the choir. President of the program, Miles McKnight, has noticed Bumika's voice and her growth throughout the program. I have to say, so she sings soprano. She has a beautiful, high, arching voice, just so smooth and amazing. Her 
logic and music theory makes her a leader in her section and just honestly as a person she's just a ray of sunshine for everybody to enjoy. So yeah, I would say that it gives us a big voice. Reporting for The Legend, I'm Anna Bullock. Students in our community are using their voices in big ways. Jocelyn Pritchard will share how Sickle students are creating change throughout our state. This year, the Sickles Student Government Association has used their voice by participating in the Ought to Be a Law initiative, helping to make big changes across the state. Students look around their communities and they find an issue in the community that currently doesn't have a law attached to it. It's an amazing, amazing learning opportunity. It gives them the chance to think outside their little bubbles into the world around us and the community around us. As the Student Government Association began to tackle the lawmaking process, they found one issue that almost seemed forgotten. When we got all these ideas, we were like, well, food allergies affects a lot of people in Florida. Josh Grigglewicz, a Sickles student who is allergic to eggs and dairy, would directly benefit from a bill like this, which would require the seven most common allergens to be identified on restaurant menus when used in meals. Talking to other people with allergies. They're not entirely sure what's in their food and hence they're apprehensive about ordering that food just because of the unknown. A lot of the time I end up having to bring my own food with me to restaurants because they're not able to accommodate. The bill has provided Aishu and her team with new opportunities as it gains traction. Right now that bill is in committee so hopefully we are going up to Tallahassee sometime soon. The hard work they've done to amplify others in their community does not go unnoticed. The fact that they found uh, uh, an issue that they found is very prominent in society. I know for me, not a lot of people necessarily talk about it, but it definitely <laughs> exists all around the state. Having young voices present in the lawmaking process can help emphasize the importance of young people making a difference in their community. For The Legend, I'm Jocelyn Pritchard, reporting. Thanks for watching. Remember to check us out on SicklesTV.com. Follow us on Instagram and YouTube at SicklesTV. And as always, have a great day and make good choices.